Welcome to our next part of our knee pain series. And this series is gonna be looking at your hips and how they work in conjunction with your knee. So one thing we definitely know of how the body works. We know if you're limiting, or you've got limited movement somewhere, that potentially could have a knock-on effect to another part of your body. So if we look at how the knee works, we know that if the ankle isn't working very effectively, that could be affecting the knee. We also know if your hips aren't working properly, that could be affecting your knee. Previously, we've given you some exercises, some videos to look at how the ankle works and strengthen up that part of your body. As I said, this part of the series is looking at getting some ability to move through here. So quite often people have lost the ability to move through this part of their body, mainly because they're static in their day. When they do move, it's quite restricted. Maybe you've had previous injury in the past, that's led to um, basically limited movement and affecting how you move now. So if we can get your brain to connect a little bit better with this part of your body, I know you've got a better chance of success. So one thing we, we very rarely do at present movement is just give you one stretch and send you on your way. We will always break down the body, start off with some little movement based stuff, and then link it into some bigger movements. So today, we're gonna to show you a movement to enable you to extend to the front of your hip, the ability to reach forward and flex, you can load the back part of your hip up, and the final exercise is gonna be stepping back and stepping forwards where you combine everything together. And like I've said previously, guys, this is always gonna be the bread and butter, is linking the whole body as one unit and let everything talk to each other. But you have to start small first of all. You have to start those building blocks, build that foundation, build some movement in and around the hips, then you can build up into some bigger base exercises. So, three exercises coming your way. I'm sure you'll really enjoy them. Okay, so first exercise we're gonna look at is your hip to extend. So, we'll get straight into it. I've got a split stance. And what I'm gonna do, the weight is on my right leg, my right arm is gonna reach up and over behind. And what we're looking at, when I get a client to do this, I'm looking at not just the shoulder and the spine to move, I'm looking at what's going on here. And is the hip actually extended? And if it is, you'll feel it, you'll feel your hip actually start to open out. But very often, guys, you're gonna see a lot of shoulder, a lot of back potentially, and not much hip. So if you need to break it down a little bit, I'll show you how that look on the other side. So say, for example, my left hip, which in this case, mine is a bit tight, I might need to break it down a bit. I might need to just to have the hands on my hip or up here and just to start a subtle little bit of extension. This could be a good start position for a lot of people, maybe if they're feeling quite tight or they're a bit restricted. If not, just go straight in with the arm. As I always say to you, I'm keeping relaxed, I'm just trying to create some movement in the hips. Next, we're gonna look at how the body flexes and start to load up the muscles in the back of the leg. Right, second exercise then. Second exercise, we're thinking about the ability for your hips to flex and hopefully start to create some load and some tension into the hamstrings and the glutes. So I'll go straight into this, show what it's gonna look like. I'm also gonna give you a little tweak to make it a little bit easier if you feel like you're struggling to load for your hips. So this is what it's gonna look like. So right leg forward, I'm gonna reach forward with my left hand. So you can, you've got some choices. You can have an object to physically reach out in front towards, or you can just do what I'm doing, just reach out front. And if you can see on the camera, I'm moving for this part of my body here, so my hips are actually flexing. As I'm flexing, it's my hamstring glute that's getting loaded up. And that works really well for a lot of people. If we can create more awareness and more strength in this part of the body, we know that's gonna support the knee. I'm just gonna show you onto the left side how it's gonna look. But I'm also gonna give you an idea, if you are struggling and you think that you're using your knee a lot, which we see from people do, they get quite rounded through here, Sometimes by just chucking your hands on your hips and giving you a cueing point of driving your hips back behind you, that can work really well. So hands on the hips, driving backwards into it. So that little cueing point can really make a big difference for a lot of people. Now then, once that feels good, then I can start getting that reach forward. Okay, so break it down if you need to. Keep it nice and slow and controlled. Create some awareness in that part of the body. Once you've done that, and the exercise before, you feel like they're coming good, they're feeling good for you, that will set you up really well for our final exercise today. Third exercise then. So, as I said earlier, this is all about combining everything together. This is your bread and butter. It's always gonna be about creating bigger movements, and hopefully if you've done this stuff previously, where your hips are moving effectively, this is gonna work really well for you. So, this is what it's gonna look like. 
Stepping forward onto my left leg first of all, I'm going to be getting reached forward with both arms. So I step, I reach forward, I now step back with my left leg and start to reach over my head. So hopefully you can see on the camera there, as I'm stepping, I'm starting to get that flexion that I've worked on earlier. As I'm stepping back, I'm starting to get that extension that I've worked on earlier. So that's forward, reach, back, reach over your head. I'll also show you what it looks on the other side. So it's forward, reaching out in front, all the weight now goes into my right leg and I reach overhead. Now what I'd recommend is once you get good at this and you feel like you're, you're moving effectively, is to create a little bit more speed and tempo. That's always going to be the, the, the thing you're going to be aiming for, is creating basically real life tempo. So if you're doing a, a sport and activity, you don't move slow like a robot, you move quite dynamically. So as you go, reach and drive overhead, reach forward and drive overhead. So you can just see within those couple of reps, I started to speed it up a little bit. Now I'm creating more of a realistic loading pattern into my muscles, into my joints. And then you've got a better opportunity for a, um, a stronger, more conditioned body. That's going to make a big difference to your training. So three exercises today, guys. Really hope you enjoyed them. Stay tuned. There's going to be loads more exercises coming your way. Loads more progressions. I'm sure you get that more value.